plants that are grown for the Chelsea Flower Show are really, really high quality. Obviously, all of our designers and trade stands and nurseries bring their best plants to the show. It's a show that's had a lot of history, a lot of pedigree. This year's show, we're really lucky to be working with Barking Riverside to rehouse plants and materials from some of the gardens. What we wanted to do was to take this international esteemed flower show and try and bring some of it to East London. One of the reasons that we really enjoy doing this is that it makes Chelsea a much more accessible option for people. It is a fantastic opportunity and it's a great thing to be able to be a part of, helping projects like this become more sustainable. We've been doing this for two years. Last year we did uh, about 2,000 plants. We, we distributed to 27 different groups, organisations, so that's charities, community garden groups, schools. This year we've over doubled that, so we're at about 5,000 plants to about 50 groups. We get a huge mix of plants, so we're able to target each school quite individually and uniquely. This is probably about three or four years old, so it's the same age as some of you. They will come down and collect them, and we can say, well, what about this? And then you can have this conversation. What about this plant? You're able to teach kids that way. Most of these children lived in very deprived houses. Accommodation is largely one-bedroom gardeners' flats, and we try to create an environment here that makes it look like a, almost a garden suburb. Digging a hole in our patch over there, and and then we were squishing the pots, and we were getting it out, putting in in the whole the whole plant. Then we looking at the then we were putting the soil in. Yeah. Then after we were squeezing them, then we put water. Going yeah, in. yeah, you've got a big pot there, so you're gonna need lots well, of space. I need a big pot. This is quite a heavy one, so if I help with this... Can I take it off? We can see the excitement when they come here and they're, uh, they're looking at these plants. We're telling them they've come from this international show. And then also getting your hands dirty, so actually feeling, touching some of the plants. It's really great to make sure that these plants go on to fantastic communities and schools around London and have an afterlife that's really, um, that really helps to benefit the communities they're going to settle in. We